Hello guys, today we will talk about query caching in Eloquent. So if you have a heavy Eloquent query like this one that takes a lot of time to run, how to store it in the cache for some time. So for that some time it will take the results from the cache instead of hitting the database and the page would load much faster. And as an example, I took an example from one of my previous videos uh, about best-selling books. I will link it in the description of this video. So on the homepage you have four top selling books for the last 30 days and the problem is that the database is really big. So 50,000 books, hundreds of thousands of uh, orders, something like that. And you need to take four that were sold for the last 30 days. So the query runs for about a second. I refresh the page now. I have Laravel debug bar on the bottom. And this is the actual query which runs for a second. Let's reload again. Let's take a look. One second, something like that. One second is pretty big in these days, modern web development. So let's cache that query for a day, because if you think about it, last 30 days have already passed and that result wouldn't change for a day until it's 30 days now. So when running that query, all you need to do is put it in the cache. By doing cache, remember, you need to come up with some kind of string, for example, homepage books then for how many seconds you want to store that. In our case seconds will be 60 seconds times 60 minutes times 24 hours, so for a day. And then that query should be inside of callback function which just returns that query. So you need to cut that and paste into here. And that's it. Nothing more to change, it's just putting the same result into the cache. And let's try that. Refresh. Nothing changed, one second, but now refresh again. See, no queries at all. So that query comes from the cache and the same result is being showed, but query doesn't actually happen. Now, what if you do want to clear that cache and refresh the data? There are a few ways. In the code, you can run cache forget and key should be the same key, so home page books. So if you refresh now, the query should run again because it forgot the cache and then it's running again. Or if for some reason you want to clear the cache for all the project, you can just run php artisan cache clear command. It will clear all the cache for all the application. And now if we delete that line and just store that, the query is running again because the cache is not present. Now let's clear the cache again and I will show you how it works with a smaller amount of time. So let's experiment with three seconds. So cache for three seconds, we will wait for three seconds and I will prove that the query is still running after three seconds. So if we run it immediately, no query, right? But let's wait for three seconds. We already have, refresh and the query is happening again. So this is the proof that that cache stays for as many seconds as you specify. Now how does that cache work and uh, where is it stored? So there is a file config cache by default from Laravel and there is a cache driver and there are quite a few of cache drivers, database file redis and stuff like that and by default it is file which means that the actual cache data is stored somewhere in the files and exactly it is in storage framework cache. And there is some kind of magic uh, how it's stored, so some folders, subfolders, some file, and somewhere inside we have that collection. But you don't need to know any of that, actually, you just need to know what driver are you using. If it's file, it should be on the same server, in the same file system. But if you do want to store cache somewhere else, in Redis or in database, you need to read about that driver in official Laravel cache documentation, which is this page. So just Laravel cache. And it's pretty big page because it uh, talks about a lot of cache usage with different drivers. So how to get values from the cache, how to store them, how to increment, increment, well, a lot of stuff. So you can read that. I will also link that in the description. But final thing, I'm not sure I communicated it well enough. That cache, remember, can store anything. So in our case, it's eloquent collection. But with that key, you can store whatever, return some text. Uh, so it's not eloquent function, it's uh, Laravel cache function and Laravel collection or eloquent result is just one way to use that with cache. 
but uh, in reality you can store anything there. I hope it was helpful and uh, be careful with cache of course. Uh, in the past actually in my experience I've run into a few issues where the data was uh, running from the cache on live server instead of actually hitting the database and the database have been changed uh, since then. So, uh, so be careful and double check clearing the cache from time to time to get the new data for your users. If you want to know more about how to optimize your homepage for speed, I mentioned the video in the beginning. Uh, I've tried to optimize eShop homepage from 2 seconds to 0.4 of a second and the link is in the corner. Check it out and see you guys in other videos.